We are going to be predicting products for bonds with lottery assets and bases. And the first step is to identify bronze lottery acid and base and uh, by in order to do that you'll need to know the strong acids and you'll need to know the strong bases once you know what are the acids and bases are you react them together to form water and then a salt with the remaining ions or you will and then you determine its solubility by the just standard solubility rules okay. once you know the equation you need to write it out and then simplify out the spectator ions to achieve a net ionic equation and once you simplify out the spectator ions, you're just left with the net ionic equation. Reactions involving water and an acid or base are also able to be understood in the terms of Brownstead, Lowry, acids, and base. In this case, the water acts as a base because it receives the hydrogen ion from the acetic acid. Example two. Example two is a solution is made by mixing nitric acid with calcium oxide. The nitric acid donates a hydrogen to the calcium oxide, splitting the calcium oxide into water and then calcium ions, which then form a ni calcium nitrate salt. Occasionally, a stronger acid will react with a weaker acid, in which the weaker acid will act as a brownstead lari base because it will accept an H plus ion from the stronger acid. A solution is made by mixing HSO4 minus and HCl. The reaction goes as follows. And in even more odd examples, uh, a third product is produced. In example four that we will be showing, is sodium bicarbonate is mixed with acetic acid. The bicarbonate accepts a hydrogen ion, which turns it into H2CO3, but that is highly unstable, so it quickly turns it into water and carbon dioxide gas, which will quickly increase the pressure, leading to interesting consequences. Good. Yep.